Meatloaf is uh, Meatloaf the artist. Meatloaf is developing a game show for couples, uh, which is titled from his popular song, "I will do anything. I will do anything for love, but I won't do that." In order to test couples' limits, so this ought to be a really interesting show, interesting uh, game show. We're going to talk about that in just a second. And now, a whole new way to watch radio. The Dennis George Show. Here's your host, Dennis George. So I will do anything for love, but I won't do that is the name of uh, Meatloaf's uh, new game show he's putting together for couples uh, that are going to be able to participate. And I I think this is I think this is like a setup for getting into a fight with your significant other on TV. Um, Bitches in the house. To be clear, I will slap my spouse. All right. If there's yeah. money involved, I'll slap. Interesting. Run. Sam is here. Hi, Sam. How are you? Doing pretty good, and you? Not too shabby. It's so amazing and warm and spring like. It is. <laughs> Debbie's here. Debbie, hello. Hey, howdy, everybody. And Jenny G is here. So, Hi, how are everybody doing? I'll do anything, but I won't do that. Right. <laughs> so, Mitch, you'll so you'll slap your partner, uh, mm-hmm. Debbie. What what won't where what will you do? What won't you do? Right where? Right anywhere they ask on the ass. <laughs> there, there are so many questions I have about this this sort of game right. show concept. Yeah. I I mean, are we? I is there money involved in yeah. right? Yeah, okay. sure. there is so money. Is it, like, is it like a pyramid thing that if I continually do worse and worse things that I'll get more and more money or we, I'm sorry, we would get more and more money. Probably right. it may be, it may be, you know, versus, you know, couples versus each other and they keep elevating the challenge, but they haven't come out with the, the full format. So I don't know, but it does beg the question, Debbie, <laughs> what wouldn't you do? Well, I, I honestly, I have not explored this. Uh, a sort of side of life to be able to even tell you what I wouldn't do at this point. So, it, it's easy. It's easy. Murder. Yeah, we're we uh, are. Right. Let's we're, start with the easy ones. We're willing to explore this with you, Debbie. Suicide. Uh, no, 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 no. no. I don't think today is the day to explore this right no, now. No, we are happy. We are happy on the Easter show to explore this with you. No, I, I do absolutely. Not I think be- I think baby Jesus would say that that. He has risen, and now is the time to explore. No, baby Jesus would not say that now is the time to explore. I can <laughs> guarantee you of that. Really? Okay. Yeah, yeah it's cows that hanging. You have a fine, right? You have a fine <laughs> cows hanging, Mitch. That's fantastic. Too far. <laughs> Are we apologizing to baby Jesus say, right now? Apologize to baby Jesus. Probably well, it's baby not baby Jesus. Jesus. It's yes. not full grown adult Jesus. Well, yeah, uh, Jesus. Okay. Good point. I'm just wondering if you have to disclose your safety word before the show starts, or do you have to start screaming it out whenever you get asked show, the question? I think the show becomes fantastic if you're screaming the safety word during the show. <laughs> so so my, my thought process here is that I would have to have a very serious chat with my partner before we went on this show to say, dude. Yeah. Where is the limit? I mean, where are we going to draw the line right. on what we would do or would not do? I, I feel like that would have to be a discussion to have with your partner before you go on the show. Not yeah. necessarily anybody else, but you and your partner have to have this conversation. Denny like, G, you got, you, do you have limits, Denny G? Yes. <laughs> in the interest of you know for the show would you elaborate on that at all murder okay yeah. so violence is not something violence is not for yeah i wouldn't do violence stuff yeah. no nope, i wouldn't yeah. do that i'm a pacifist in, in heart at heart yeah i'm, I'm the same way nothing violent. Uh, mitch are, are there limits for you mitch i mean like you know if you had to say I'm not saying you're too graphic here, but if there was a limit, where would the edge of that limit be for you? Dennis, you do understand that you're asking Mitch this, right? I do, and I've already I... got the mute. I've got the beeper ready to beep. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I think my limit might be poop. I think I would. I would stay out of. Um, 
I would stay out of that area. Uh, what, is it, what does that mean? <laughs> That's interesting. I have, I have so many comments on that. Interesting. So, wait a comments. minute, wait a minute. For me, like, water, it, on the scale, water sports comes before poop. So, okay. yeah. So, no wave yeah, running. To you. No wave running, no surfboarding, no body surfing. Those are out. Body surfing? Well, he said water sports are out. Oh, 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 oh. So I was just I was just rattling. I was thinking off. that I was thinking that was different. Oh, Sam, what are your limits? I don't do anything that that you know biohazard. Biohazard <laughs> stuff is out for sure. Anything that requires a hazmat suit, you're saying is out. Right. Yeah, so, right. Or if you've got to call yeah. a team, some kind of a team to assist you. Yeah, that's your exactly. Your cleanup becomes, cleanup becomes more, more than the act. Mm. Ew. Well, wow, that got visual. Probably not going to explore that any further. I'm just probably not because Debbie's Nick's cell though is really nice though. If you use it, you can just spray it down. One of Debbie's eyes is starting to spasm, so I, <laughs> <laughs> that's usually our indication that move we, on. <laughs> right. We might need to apologize to the BDSM community. <laughs> Right, right. What's the BDSM community? <laughs> Brothers. Uh, all right, Mitch. Sisters and mothers. Brothers, I dads. You, right. I can't Google with you. it. I can't with you. I can't. I can't, I can't <laughs> Google such things anymore because my shopping. Why not? It's already destroyed. Just go ahead. BDS, brothers, dads, sisters, and mothers. Yeah, I'm not into any of that either. I don't think that's any of what that means, but that's okay. <laughs> Well, what is it, Sam? No, no, <laughs> not doing it. Definitely. You're trying to lead me. No, nope, it's not happening. <laughs> fine, fine, fine. Well, I'm going to tell you, Dennis, I'm going to tell you this right now. You were kind enough to send me this beautiful little happy face bell. And as soon as I can figure out how to incorporate that to where it's visible on my screen, that so show us, show us the, the foul. It's a foul bell. It's not here. It's actually in another room. So I would go <laughs> get it. Let's see the foul bell. You want me to go get it now? Go get it. Yeah, we'll wait. Everyone Leave will wait. Leave your panic room. It's we'll fine. Wait. I'll yeah, go get it. Leave the panic room. Someone unlock the door. Let her out. <laughs> or is it, is it kind of like a cocktail bell? <laughs> I think she has to go to the window. Bell? I need another cocktail already. With, that, with, with that, that, Diddy G? I said I think she has to go to a window and have somebody pass it through to her. Right. <laughs> I don't think she can get out. I'm pretty sure she's doing shots while she's away. All right. She said the bell was in the other room. She's right. like, nope. Does this mean she came out of the closet? Right. It's right. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I will apologize to Debbie. Yes, it was kind of like a cocktail bell. Can't hear it. So that one... Can't really hear it. Now I can. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the face is great, though, that she makes it like. Reminds me of Breaking Bad. So that will be the indicator that we need to move on. Move on. Move on. Move on. Because the the horror look in your eyes isn't enough. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I haven't figured out how to actually elevate it enough to have it in view so that I can hit it. Either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to like stack some books. Maybe yeah, those I'm, golden grams. I'm, I'm working on, the, on it. On I'm the working on it. I just haven't figured it out yet. Give me time. I will make okay, it. Okay, okay. Put it on the bubblegum machine behind you. That's, that's a really far reach. I have a feeling that it can't be on the golden grams because it's got to be like reinforced because I can just see Debbie throw, just slapping the hell out of it. Golden right. grams getting all cracked up. Back in the golden right. grams right off the shelf. Yeah. We'll get our friend Eric, who's kind of a handyman. We'll get him over there to build you some kind of a ledge that yeah. comes out right that you there. can jump off of. <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly <laughs> exactly oh my god exactly uh we have a fantastic show for you our top 10 list is top 10 weirdest things people sell and actually make money for that's coming up and it's it's a very disturbing list debbie was shared it with me ahead of the show and wanted to know if there's anything she couldn't put on here like yeah half the list needs to be crossed off yeah, all right <laughs> Um, she, I'm getting my arm ready. 
did you just throw up a little in your mouth? That's what it looked like, Debbie. Yeah, well, right. A little bit, a little bit. I was a little bit more than a little bit disturbed by this list. Yeah, a very disturbing list. But those of you who are looking for a wait. new, those who are looking for a new job or a new hobby or or a new way to make oh. money, we have good tips for you. So um, also we have a Margo and Yuri update. Yes. All right. Yeah, so we have a big update for them. So uh, stick around. We'll be right back. Dennis George Show continues after this. Hey, everyone. I just want to talk to you real quick about something I've been working on lately. It's called the Michelle Obama Podcast. I can't wait for you to listen. In this first season, I'm going to be talking with some of the people I'm closest with. My mom, my brother, my friends, my colleagues, and many others will be discussing the relationships that make us who we are. We'll be talking about the challenges and the joys of being a parent or a spouse, the friendships that help us through the toughest times, or the growth we experience when we lean on the colleagues and mentors around us. What I love about these conversations is that they're topics and issues that we're all dealing with no matter what's going on whether that's a global pandemic or a nationwide reckoning with race. My hope is that this podcast can be a place for us to sort through the questions that we're all trying to answer, a place to open up and be a little vulnerable and have some fun along the way. And most importantly, I hope this podcast sparks ideas and topics that you can open up with within your own circles. Maybe it'll inspire you to have some conversations with loved ones that you've been meeting to have. So I hope you'll join me for the Michelle Obama podcast. Episodes start July 29th. Listen for free only on Spotify. The views expressed on Dennis George show are not our own or anyone else's. Listen at your own risk and we cannot be held responsible for your ears burning, bleeding or ringing or the blurred eyesight. Some things you will not be able to unhear or unsee and for that, you are warned. Do not try anything we suggest or talk about at home, work or in your car. A reminder, there are no rules and our show is intended for mature audience only. Or at a minimum, those over your states or countries, legal aid of consent. Any experiments, jobs, skills, or sexual positions suggested and or recommended are for comedy purposes only and should not be tried without supervision. Or a spotter. Safety word or phrase is recommended in advance of trying anything new. Any medical advice or comments that seem like medical advice should be reviewed with your own doctor. Or at least check it on Google like we did. Thank, Thank you, you and, and good luck. luck. And now, back to the Dennis George Show. Well, thank you so much, and uh, welcome back to our show. Uh, we uh, we have some weird people, news and updates for you. I'll remind you, too, if you're listening to the podcast, you can also watch us on YouTube. And if you're watching us on YouTube, you can actually listen to us on a podcast. So, what? yeah, so take us with you. Uh, you don't have to be stuck at your computer. You can actually do a podcast or uh, if you're in your car or doing a podcast, you can actually. We're everywhere. We're everywhere. 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 We're in your closet. <clears throat> yeah. Go check. Uh, so <laughs> to remember from previous shows, we talked about Margo and Yuri. Yuri Tequilio is the Kakistan. Tolochko. Okay. I think I think it's pronounced Tolochko. Okay, Tolochko. Yuri Tolochko. Some of you may remember is the Kakistan, Very nice. Kakistan-based bodybuilder who created international headlines uh, at the end of last year after marrying a sex doll, Margot. Uh, and we. Where's Margot uh, from? Uh, she's from the same area, from Kakistan as well. She worked at a. Are we sure? I yeah. think yep. she's from plastic. She worked at a nightclub there and they met uh, over. She was a hostess at a nightclub and he went into that nightclub several times. And, and then they met there and there was about a year and a half courtship just to bring you all up to speed quickly. Right. A year and a half courtship. And then he finally asked her to uh, to marry him. And they got married after uh, dating for uh, for some time. Um, and so I have an update from that. Uh, some of you may remember that uh, uh, there was a little bit of an issue right before Christmas where Margot quote, broke down, uh, and he sent her off for repairs. And many mm -hmm. of Margot's friends have been very concerned because yeah, they haven't yeah. heard from Margot. 
Uh, and uh, she's now hang on, Debbie. And she, we're going to get to it all in a second. Just trying to bring everyone up to full speed. Mm-hmm, here. Yeah. I, I the, the breakdown now. happened next time on Masterpiece. Some of <laughs> Margot's friends were very concerned because the breakdown happened right around the same time as Margot's Instagram account got more popular than his account. And, uh. so, and, he, and there were a couple times when he had been drinking, he got into a fit of rage and was very jealous about her Instagram account. And that happened around the same time as she disappeared. Uh, and so her friends launched an investigation. Some of you may recall. In fact, the police have gotten involved as well. The update that we have for you right now is that um, he has now filed for divorce. Tax dollars. He's, tax dollars. Yeah, you know, Yuri it's has Pakistan. Filed. They, don't they don't collect, collect tax, tax dollars, dollars there. Oh, well, what do they do? So he has, he has filed for divorce. Uh, he's gotten himself a new bride, by the way. I think we yeah. told you that he, he was uh, he was dating a uh, a chicken uh, for a little bit of time, and so now he apparently wants to marry that chicken, which is another bestiality uh, is not on his things that he won't do for love. Not a real chicken. That's a good point, Sam. Um, in the meantime, so Yuri has confessed that he has cheated on his wife. Um, and that he now wants to marry this other with a chicken. Girl. Yeah, so his new wife, uh, he introduced her on Instagram as queer. His wife Lola. Her name is Lola. Uh. Um, so uh, he did say that his relationship with Margot uh, did really hurt him, uh, and he told the Daily Star that uh, there is a specific and compelling reason for my divorce. However, I'm not ready to talk about it. Um, I know what it is. Do you? Did yes. you learn? You learn? Okay. What, what was it? She uh, went to work at the uh, sex doll hotel. Okay. There is a hotel. Yeah. Which, uh, you just get a sex doll in your room. Shut up. I'm yeah. not sure what well, concerns me more that, that. Do they have a chicken room? No. I'm not sure what concerns Dang me more that, that, that. That there is a sex doll hotel, or that you've researched it. I'm not sure which one of them. <laughs> <laughs> what concerns me concerns. more, actually, is Debbie. All right, she's just lost it. All right, she's just gone. She's <laughs> almost catatonic. Yeah, he does mm-hmm. say that perhaps not everyone will understand the relationship. Uh, and he says that you know some people say she's just a toy. No one understands it. No one. Right. No one. Uh, Margo's Yuri, friends, no one does. Yeah, Margo's friends are still outraged because they they, they say Margo is still missing. No, she's uh, at the hotel. And now, maybe, and now the police don't seem to be taking it seriously. Debbie? True. Oh. These, these police need to get on this. Yeah. It's a, it's a sex doll. Why would the police ever love and care? It's a sex the doll for god's sake but that plastic felt so flesh-like <laughs> i can't with you sam i can't <laughs> debbie i've said it before sex dolls are people too we're going to apologize to sex dolls <laughs> so would you so the question is would you do that a sex would i do a sex doll, doll? <laughs> with your partner on the meatloaf show i just don't think i would want to do the cleanup oh <laughs> my it's just a hose. Wait, 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 wait. wait. It's just a I, hose. I gotta, you do it here again. You throw her out. I gotta ask this question: Who is gonna carry this show? What station is gonna carry? Right. This? I don't know. Because that will determine the limits of the show. Bravo. I think they should perform at the end, though. Their ratings will go through the roof. Perform? And what do you mean perform? <laughs> For those perform. who are. For those of you who are listening and not watching the visuals, uh, apparently our YouTube traffic will now go through the roof because those of you on podcasts you're not seeing Sam um, gyrate with his pen. Uh, but you're yeah, going baby. Go on to YouTube. Wait, 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 wait. Sam is not gyrating with his pen. <laughs> Sam is gyrating his pen in front of his camera. Not yeah. with his pen. I want to be very specific in the it's, language. It's- very important right now it's actually well, a pen again the thing that concerns me more isn't necessarily what sam's doing but the debbie understands cam etiquette 
that concerns me a little bit more. That's that's not cam etiquette. That's specificity of language. Yeah. I don't want people to think Sam is gyrating with his pen. That was not what was happening. I was trying to drive. I am on a beach side. though. Hey. Yeah, you are. You're yeah. gonna get sand everywhere. So you all know that with the coronavirus, different countries are dealing with the virus differently, and and countries have limitations in terms of how they're allowing people into the country. And there's different standards. And not about sex dolls. No. I'm, I, okay, I'm going to move on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Right. So different countries have different standards for letting folks into the country. So in some countries, you have to prove that you've been vaccinated. Some countries, uh, when you come back into the U.S., for example, you have to be retested. And you have to be posit- uh, negative. Not positive. You have to be negative. Uh, it's different right. countries have different standards. Uh, the U.S. Department of State has accused China of violating the Vienna Convention on Diplomatic Relations, adding that the department is committed to guaranteeing the safety and security of American diplomats and their families while preserving their dignity. Uh, China has landed itself in hot water uh, after administering anal swabs to diplomats who want to go into China. It's a long way to get to your nose. (laughs) (laughs) It sure is. Um, Apparently, folks are saying that um, researchers claim that the test provides a more accurate diagnosis for Mm COVID-19 because the virus remains in the intestines much longer than the respiratory system. However, uh, folks are saying that that's that's quite a bit more invasive uh, testing. And oh, uh, but come on. I mean, you, you can still do that at a drive through, but I mean, it is a bit more invasive. <laughs> you kind of moon them as you go by. That. Right. You just prop yourself up in the window. I think it's much faster. They can. <laughs> well, the other thing is, it, it's a two. You like the sound? <laughs> no, no, no. It's, it's a twofer faster. because if you're getting in there and hitting the prostate, that's a twofer. Not only are you getting the test, but you're getting a deal. <laughs> You know, it costs more if you do it for more than 10 seconds, too. (laughs) (laughs) We're going to apologize to men. (laughs) She's trying to. Yes. We have apologized to men for quite some time on this show. (laughs) True. We're going to do it today. Yeah, it's true. Um, The The prostate comment was too far, Dennis. Oh, it was a finger too far. It was a finger too far. It went too far. Yeah, That's I, what he said. It was, <laughs> it was a cotton swab. It wasn't a finger. <laughs> um, this week, <laughs> Debbie's ringing the bell. This week, uh, police pulled over a driver in Kansas for going 149 miles per hour in the city of Overland Park, Kansas. Police clocked the woman's vehicle going 149, uh, which is more than double the legal limit. Uh, I want to know, and they gave her a ticket, of course. Um, they pulled her over. They asked, do you know how fast you're going? And the woman looked down the speedometer. And she says, I was doing 128. So the police officer said, <laughs> oh, you were doing 149. Um, I want to know what car she was driving because I don't, right. think my car, I don't think my car can do 149. Right. They have governors on them, and she clearly paid somebody to take off the governor. Yeah. Yeah. She's in trouble. Yeah. So, so my my question really comes down to why did she feel the need to go that fast? Right. Where the hell were you going? It was Kansas. Kansas. There's, There's nothing she else could. there. That's true. It was flat. Yeah. No, no. She was in Overland Park. Yeah, yeah it's well, crowded. The city is not of, of the Kansas City no. suburbs. All right, in early, I'm we're going to go ahead and apologize to Kansas. But it is true, there is nothing in Kansas. I mean, I had a friend of mine who just recently drove through, Kansas, and he said to me, "Where there are no mountains around?" I'm like, "You're in Kansas. There's nothing there. like nothing there at You're all." You're still in Kansas, Toto. Right, right. Well, the nice thing is they didn't lock her up and take her car away because a lot of states right. when you're that when you drive that fast, they'll impound your car and they'll they'll cite you for reckless, dangerous driving. And take your car. Yeah. yeah. Do we no, do we know right. for sure that that's not what happened to her? No, they just said a ticket was issued. Um, they said police pulled her over and did give her a ticket, and the speeding yeah. ticket was six hundred and eighty dollars. For those of you that are curious, wow, what the cost of her ticket was. Um, but wait a minute, I've got a question. 
Meanwhile, go ahead, Mitch. So if I pay $680, I can speed through Kansas and get through that state as fast as I want. Yeah, you got gold. Only as many times as you get gold. All right, I'm just, I will pay it ahead of time. All right, I will do it at, at you know, the borders. All right. So like, let me just ask you a general, bucks. let me just Done. ask you a general violation question then for you, Mitch. So what you're, what you're really telling us is, you're willing to pay the ticket for whatever it is. Like I'll pay the ticket. So whatever we can come up with a variety of violations that are ticket driven. And if you're willing to pay the ticket, you're willing to do the crime. Yeah. I want to go on a cruise, pay like, my ticket. I feel like this is a trap. Can you guys help? It me? is. It right. is. It is a trap. Right. It yeah. Is a trap. DUI. Watch, be no. careful. No, no, no. Don't you? I thought they used to, if you have somebody in the car, clearly, I guess you didn't have anybody in the car, but they used to, if you had somebody in the car with you, then it would be considered involuntary manslaughter as well. I don't know. Oh, for just driving fast? Yes, because the person in the passenger seat has no control. So, therefore, if anything happened to them, it would yeah, be considered manslaughter. Yeah, yeah, you have to kill them first. I think different right, for manslaughter, that. that's why it's involuntary. I think some states, I mean, states are different on their books, of course. Now, in Minnesota, they they take the, the credit card machines are in the cruisers. They actually have you pay for the ticket right there. That's nice. I, I thought that was really. Good. How, do, how do you know that, Dennis? I just theoretically say. How, how do you know I that? Do you know that? Yeah, no. I pulled over no, tell us. Your right. Honor, yeah. please instruct the witness to answer the question. I got pulled over in Minnesota, and uh, the trooper said, how do you want to take care of the ticket? And I I thought he was inviting a bribe. Just to be clear, I was. Yeah, I'm keeping oh, my pants on, officer. No, <laughs> no, I was willing to take my pants off. I'm just saying that that I thought we were. I thought we were going to pay for Jenny, the ticket. Jenny, to be <laughs> fair, that's where I was going to. I started right. to do my buckle, and the guy was like, "No, no, Visa, Mastercard, American Express, Discover." I thought, "Well, Discover, we were going a different route." But okay, anyway, so yeah, so they're like, "No, we take credit cards and stuff." Animal crackers. Animal crackers. <laughs> That's my safety word. Yeah, That's going to be my safety I word. Thought <laughs> I thought your nickname, <laughs> your nickname was Visa, though. Because you say you're everywhere that they want you to be. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's true. It is very true. Uh, so, yeah. So, she's going to pay her ticket, apparently, $680 in Kansas. And I don't know. But don't drive that fast. That's absolutely ridiculous. So, I just. That's crazy. See what you want. Live a little. Really, Sam? You can <laughs> Sorry. Come with me in prison. Right. <laughs> Orange is the new black. <clears throat> Mitch's background is a prison. That's fantastic. That's why he's got the mm -hmm. echo. Right. That's what the echo is. Hey, uh, <laughs> we're going to do uh, Debbie's top 10 list coming up. Uh, top 10 things people sell and actually make good money at. Yes. Uh, so, um, this would be where the disclaimer goes. Find us online at DennisGeorgeShow.com. Hey there. Catch us 24-7 on social media. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter and Good Pods. On Alexa and Google Assist, say, play Dennis George Show podcast. If you have a question or comment, send us an email at podcast at DennisGeorgeShow.com. Or if you're just looking for a date. If we read your question or comment on the show, we'll send you a Dennis George Show t-shirt. That's podcast at DennisGeorgeShow.com. Now back to the show. And we're back uh, on our show. And I was uh, I was revisiting the, uh, the list briefly during the break. And I probably shouldn't have because I was like, eh, I, I don't know, Debbie. I mean, it's all good. Yeah, it is fine. It's it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Debbie, it's fine. may the odds be ever in your favor. Yeah, thanks. <clears throat> I'm going to need that. So these are the top 10, 10 things that people sell that actually make good money. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you guys. This list on several different levels disturbed me. <clears throat> so number 10, is, yeah, number 10 is virginity. The scam. <laughs> you can't make a career out of that. Wait, you wait, can't prove wait, it. No, 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 we're not saying it's a. We're not saying you can prove it if you're a woman. How can you prove it? 
Girl, how do you pr- how do you t- tell me how you prove I it? I have to teach you biology Woman. on this show, Daddy Tell me how you prove it. I cannot go down that path on this show. Yes, you can. No, I cannot. Yes, you can. That's biology. It's simple. Ring biology. the bell. No, it's not. Ring the yes, bell. It is. No, you can get surgery. Ring the bell. There's what such a thing as <laughs> there's such on? a thing as there's such a thing as hymen, hymenoplasty. I don't know what you're talking about, and I'm moving on. Okay. <laughs> number, nine, <laughs> number nine is air. Now, can we go back? Hang on. Can we go? Let's they just, sell air. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Let's just back up to number 10 for one second. Because I do need, I know, but I know, but I did <laughs> talk about her safety word. She hit her safety word. Talk about, word. Crackers. Talk about apologize the, to talk, Debbie, Sam. Hang on. Oh, she's on here. <laughs> hang on. Talk about the last part of this, which yeah. is that um, there, there is there is there are people who auctioned this off. Yes, and there is a documented high bid uh, of uh-huh. three million dollars. Mm-hmm. So, and, and you go get that $3 million, you go get the surgery and do it again. That's fine. We're, we're not, we're not getting, you can put that. it back in. We're, we're, no, you, you, we're not looking up that discussion. We're talking. <laughs> <laughs> we're, really, some, I'm sorry, Debbie. You were right. You were right. To re- <laughs> you took us back. That's <laughs> <laughs> right. You were right. You to only, rebuild it. I just want to know if you can put it back. This you can only rebuild it so many times. After my a while, bad. just throwing a hot dog down the hallway, right? <laughs> oh my god! Nope, nope. <laughs> Number nine. I'm sorry, Dennis. <laughs> Number nine. Dennis, from now on, you let me run the show. You shut okay. up. Fair you shut up, and you let me do this. Fair enough. Fair enough. Number nine is air. While air is free and pretty much everywhere. There are right. some areas that do not have good breathing air. So mm-hmm. there are some areas that will actually pay for good, clean breathing air. Mount and, Everest. Uh, enterprising people in the UK and Canada are cashing in by selling this air. For customers in China, air in a bottle is a prized possession and such a relief to their lungs, which are usually exposed to smog. China has a lot of smog. That's interesting to me. That's- does that help a hangover? I wonder. No. If you got more oxygen, uh, it no? doesn't have any electrolytes in it. There no, are it's just air, not oxygen, just right, air. Right. Right. There are oxygen bars, and that's a little different, of course. Right. Yeah. 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 Number eight is toilet paper. So we know, yeah. honey. We know. Let's not talk about the toilet paper shortage. In okay, so of twenty twenty. Now, now, I know that some of you received this as a gift for me at Christmas because it amused me so much. I found these little uh, round ornaments for Christmas trees in 2020 that basically said, I don't even remember what it really said. but it I survived the toilet paper crisis of 2020. Thank you. Yes. And it amused me so much. I bought like 30 of them and handed them out to everybody because it amused me so much. You know, it's coming again in 2021. Who? Toilet what paper is? shortage because of the because Ooh. of the ship stuck at the the ship that stuck at the Suez Canal. Yeah. Oh my God! Well, not the Suez Canal, but the Panama Canal. The ship that's right. The ship that stuck at the Panama Canal, 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 Canal is not letting ships through, and they have a lot of toilet paper on those ships. Well, so. they don't no, have a right. choice. No, you're right. It was this Suez. Cri- we're going to have this crisis again. It's, it's the Suez, Suez Canal. Yeah, yeah, it was Suez. It's yeah, the, the, Suez Canal. The, the ship that stuck sideways in the Suez Canal is preventing Panama Canal in the Panama Canal is preventing other ships from going through. It's yes, like, right. So now they're trying to go around and they have to go all the way around Africa <laughs> instead of going Are they saying Africa? it's affecting like 25% of shipping? I think At it's South America. 25%. It's, yeah. it's yes. higher than that, I think. Yeah. A lot of toilet paper it. stuck in the water. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, so anyway. That toilet paper is screwed. So, so there is one special toilet paper that I have to tell you guys about because there are there are a lot of different luxury luxury toilet papers out there, black camouflage, Sudoku tissue toilet paper. But my favorite does it come with a pencil? I I, I it you should. Write, you write with poop, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and I won't do that. <laughs> yeah, meatloaf. Meatloaf. <laughs> Animal crackers! Animal crackers! Uh, so the most expensive toilet paper is Toilet Paper Man's 22 karat gold tissue, worth $1.3 million. 
too. There is a demand for this tissue in Dubai, and it's considered the perfect choice for golden toilet seats, which are more like thrones. Jeez. Huh. Uh, I just like the Cubs toilet paper. You like what? The, the toilet paper that's got the emblem of the Chicago Cubs on it. Oh, okay. okay, so for those of you who are not familiar with this, right in St. Louis, we are huge St. Louis Cardinal fans normally, and we for some reason hate the Cubs. I mean, it's not for some reason. I mean, I moved here, so I'm not. We sure. have really good reasons to hate the Cubs. I inherited sure. the hatred of the Cubs. So those of us who are St. Louis Cardinal fans hate the Cubs. So Put the Cubs on the list. Yeah. No. 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 They don't. They don't get on this list. So, so that is why Mitch is making this comment about <clears throat> the toilet paper with the cup. All right. All right, number seven. And these are things that people actually sell and make money at. Make money, yes. Yep. yes. So number seven is human waste. Now wait, wait, wait. Fertilizer. Wait for it. There is okay. actually a bacterial infection that impacts many many Americans and is responsible for 15,000 American deaths in a year. And I'm going to try to pronounce the name of it, but I will tell you guys I have been drinking, so this could get ugly. (laughs) I'm super excited. I know, right? Wait for it. Clostridium difficile. I would be interested to know if these people that had this were cesarean babies. Ooh. That's a good thought. How does this tie to of... human waste? Yeah. What? How does this tie to human oh, waste? Oh, because when you when you have it so when you have a cesarean, you don't come through the normal birth channel. When you come through the normal birth channel, all no, no. that pushing ding, and stuff ding, 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 causes ding, feces and stuff ding, to be mixed in the with the bring the bell. Well, wait a minute, but that but that helps the baby. That helps the baby. You ask the question. That helps the baby <laughs> develop. The immune response. I was asking yes. Debbie. I was asking I Debbie how it relates. Oh, sorry. No, no, no. no. no, no, no. Wait for it. Okay. So, people... ding, 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 ding. <laughs> so, in order to treat this bacterial infection, the doctors use healthy microbes, microbes from the human waste of a healthy person, and they place those healthy microbes, microbes into the intestines of the patient with that particular infection. How do they do that? I, You're I asking a lot of questions. I you really want to know hear this. <laughs> they do it with a caulk gun. They take the poop <laughs> and then they put it into the, I don't really know. I don't have the, well, if anybody's Any D, you almost made me spew. <laughs> Oh, Actually, Dennis, why are gun. you giving me trouble? You already know this. <laughs> Should we apologize to the cough guns? No. No. Oh, it's a fecal <laughs> transplant. Yes. So, it's what it is. I was actually watching this video in North Korea. Actually, oh, Lord. Oh, Jesus. You watched a video about this? I thought you weren't into scat. What? No, it was a video about North Korea. And actually what? up there, because they are embargoed, they can't get fertilizer. And so human poop goes is my dollar old up there. So Continue. I have questions about that's that. why they like Dennis Rodman. Oh, <laughs> apologize right, to Dennis Rodman. Dennis Rodman. Rodman. Well, you like Dennis Rodman, but it was so perfect to not say it. Can we start a mail order business then? <laughs> yes, yeah. no shit. There is a place. There is a place where you can have cow pies mailed to people. It's so great. We can just send them all a bunch. I like this. Send this is. I'm gonna bullshit. look into this. I'm going ding, to ding, ding, ding. Because this is. We're ad- going to sell my shit. This is a great at-home business. Debbie, those of you who are on the podcast can't see her, and you can't hear her because she keeps home. saying what. <laughs> I. I. I I number I'm six. Haven't hit the bell number yet. six. <laughs> number six is professional morning services. What's so, this? So this is where somebody gets paid to go and be a professional mourner at funerals. And wow. they even is this can where, go like, they hire the Italian women to like wear the veils, go in there, cry, pray on their knees in the church. Just they could, at the funeral yes, and it, just, you know, be all 
but but Mitch, it goes as far as somebody actually jumping into the grave with <laughs> with the coffin. <laughs> And breaking down and crying and screaming. Yeah, Wait a totally, minute. totally this is, breaking do down this. and losing we everything. Could do a, we could do a prearranged service they pay in advance, and we literally spell out all the different services ahead of time, and yes. they pay in advance. I love this. I love this. I mean, idea. you got to think like we have someone jumping in the grave. We could have the illegitimate child like coming out during the funeral. All right. <laughs> One of the relatives like. Or, yeah. No, it turns into a whole show. This is. Yeah, no, I'm serious. Singer. I'm writing this one down. This one, this is a business idea. I love this. I can do this, Dennis. Who pays for this? I am your premier person, Dennis. I can do this. We are doing this. We hire actors and professional criers. This is fantastic. No, Debbie's going to do it. Who's paying for this though? The person who dies pays in advance. You get them. You get them to it prearranged. So, like you know, prearranged death services. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. and, and a lot of people probably won't tell their family that they prearranged for it. So it's mm -hmm. going to be really funny. So you don't have to show up. Idea. Yeah. This is the best. I'm writing this one down. We're doing not it. super common in America yet. Yes. We're doing it. Yes. 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 We are totally doing we this. Are do no, oh, I'm yeah. serious. We are doing this. I, I, I'm going to think of a really catchy name. Now is not the time for me to think of it. I need but to I edit the show. The I need to edit the show and take this idea out of the show. So we don't give it away to other people. Exactly. Hey, Debbie, what about death at a funeral for the name? Mm. Okay. Too morbid Possibility. sounding. Possibility. I don't know. I, I got I got to percolate on this a little bit. But anyways. This so is it's, good. It's, You're going to what on this? Percolate. Percolate. I got to percolate. It needs percolate. to percolate in my brain. It's going to brew. Yes. I got to percolate. Yeah. Faster. Number five. <laughs> not, the same, not the same thing. <laughs> Number five. Similar. Is number five? Are you done? Are you all done? Uh, yes, mother. <laughs> number five is used underwear. Oh, so, so wait, yeah. Wait, wait. So I, I, I really am going to skip over a lot of this because it's a lot of reading. But the one thing I will tell you is that <clears throat> there was. Where's I got? I got to find it. So. There were Japan. You can mix so many of these with the underwear. <laughs> so Japan had vending machines just for this business. The underwear? Or the government, used? yes, mm -hmm. for used underwear. But the government shut it down, but only on concerns that it was men that were wearing the female undergarments. Oh. It was like misrepresentation misrep oh. of what you were actually getting. That's that's what the concern what does of the that government matter. Is. They should oh, get out of my butter. No, 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 no what, what they're, they're saying, saying, what Debbie's saying, saying is that like you're going to a vending machine, you're buying a pair of female underwear, but a female yeah, was not, not the original, original wearer, wearer of said underwear. That, what that does it matter? That is it's false advertisement. <laughs> no, no, no. The fetish <laughs> tends to be, and I'm not saying always, but tends to be men who want underwear that have been worn by a woman. Yes. Ding, I won't ding, do ding. that. I like Sam's reaction. All he's doing is just nodding true. slowly. That's true. True. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how you're going to govern that. I, I, I'm not. They just shut down the vending machines. Is what they were concerned yeah. that it, it was a big stink. <laughs> <laughs> there was a little bit of a sack imprint on the underwear. So I mean, all you need is a simple black light, light, light test. Yeah. All right, with a black light test, if there's a stain, you're out. out. No, that is not true, Mitchell. Yeah. That is not true. You cannot do a no. stain test on underwear to prove that it's a male. Unless you do a stain test that proves that it's semen. That's what I said. Black light test. Ring the bell. Oh, my God. Number four. <laughs> I don't need to ring the bell. I'm flipping in control. Number four. Is, I am not, I am not afraid not of Debbie. Afraid I just want Debbie. everyone to know that. Yeah, right. Yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody referred to Debbie. Just wait. You keep telling yourself that. Yeah, right. You keep telling yourself that. Mm -hmm. I'm in the safety of my, of my prison cell. cell. You can't hurt me. Oh, I know where your prison cell is. <laughs> Number four. Number four is breast milk. So, um, it's apparently. Well, the very, babies need to drink. It's well. It's apparently a very lucrative business that has mm -hmm. been around for quite some time. Yep. Right. 
Yeah. Uh, well, the World Health Organization advocates that infants should get the breast milk from other healthy mothers in event their biological mother is unable to produce the milk. So, so mm -hmm. that's part of the um, part of the the profit from that particular area. But that's not all. What I mean, there there are some people. There are some uh, full grown adults that have a fetish for breast. milk. I was a titty sucker as a baby. I mean, what do they mix it with rum chata? I I can't oh. answer that question because I am not a person with a fetish for breast milk, so I can. Were you a titty sucker as a baby? I, I, I don't remember. Ask, I have to ask my mom. I really don't know the answer. And that's not a conversation I, I want to have, have with my mom, mom quite oh, frankly. Right. What about you, Denny G? Have you had some titty milk? Um, I don't know. I mean, my mother's passed away, so I can't, I can't tell you. For that. the record, <laughs> as an adult, that's a no-go zone. I won't do that. Hmm. Is that your meatloaf? Hi, it's good with cereal. Wait, so so you <laughs> wouldn't ask your mom if she breastfed you? This is a oh, trick. Dennis, Dennis, never mind. I won't ask this you. Is a trick Mitchell. Question. <laughs> this is a trick question. Mitchell, never mind, no. Dennis. Never no. mind. I, I already know. I had that conversation with my mother, all right? all right? This is a trick question, Debbie. No, you know it is. It's not a trick question. I'm sorry I asked you. I should know better. I apologize. If I'm I, looking for a shot of wine, maybe. I, I need to. I do not. <laughs> wine? Uh, really? Wine? Yeah, really, huh? A little spigot. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Wine. Can we no. apologize to all Vodka? the wet nurses out there? Vodka. Yeah, we should probably apologize to wet nurses. <laughs> all okay, extra mall. Wait, wait, is that what wet nurse, wait, is that what wet nurse means? Yes. yes. Oh my Jesus. Yeah. It, oh, it's a woman who is brought in to breastfeed a baby. Yes. I didn't know that. Now you know. Right. Potentially well, you know. because the mother is having a problem with breast milk and right. therefore cannot Ooh. actually breastfeed the baby herself. Right. Yeah. Tank is empty. Or, or your royalty. Could well, be, here's yeah. the thing. I could, see, I could see women who just had a baby who have waited. I'm not saying anything offensive here, so just relax. Yeah, are right. You I sure? don't know. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> women who have been pregnant for nine months, okay? And they <laughs> Debbie's got the belt. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and apologize to women too. No. Pregnant women. <laughs> no, we are. Go ahead. <laughs> so, but you've had a baby after nine months, and let me tell you something: you want to have a drink. So, because when you're breastfeeding, you really can't, you really can't continue to consume alcohol. Yes, you can. You yes, you can. Flush, yeah. You got to flush the pipes. You got to pump and dump. Oh yeah. my god. So many mixed emotions because not only is it troubling, at the same time, I'm curious. So it's, I don't know what to do. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, Dennis. I thought yeah. we have so much to teach you. We have so much. No, 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 no. no. We, we don't don't know. Know. He is it's really close to knowing enough to be dangerous. I thought right. we're not I thought teaching him anything. I thought pump and dump was something completely different. But yeah, yeah, that's upper decking that you're thinking about. <laughs> oh it's a, there's many different usage of ding, pump ding, and ding, dump. Ding. But... Bring the bell. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Number three. Number three is, three. Number three oh, is, is real, real life horror moments. So this is basically where people retell real life horror moments that they have had so that other people can listen mm -hmm. and sort of semi experience that particular horror moment. Could be a near death experience, could be something else that was completely horrific, but a lot yeah. of people just just totally enjoy that stuff and yeah. So next time on Masterpiece. Well, uh, so you can get between 200 to 2000 dollars for a single story. Wow. <laughs> you could get even more if you're more aggressive with your bargaining skills. And if you have video. <laughs> Everybody uh, so likes a video. Yeah. No, number two. Is, <laughs> number two is blood Sam plasma. Just likes to watch. <laughs> what is it? Blood, blood plasma. Blood plasma. Oh. oh, yeah. Yeah, so plasma is the clear fluid in which other blood components like 
platelets and red blood cells are suspended. And so it's mm-hmm. very different from an actual honest to goodness um, blood <clears throat> when you when you go to donate blood. But um, it's got all the antibodies in it. Exactly. Cause, which is cause actually under, I understand this because actually my dog had parvo and they used plasma to treat him. And when he was yeah. done, I actually asked him, I was like, can he sign up to be a donor for this program? Because I actually think that program is fantastic and he benefited from it so i was like okay can he help other other doggies there's a plasma facility about four blocks from my house oh, wow. people go there all the time you can there's always people outside going in how often can you do that uh, i, I actually often. don't have the answer to that question i know that to sell your plasma you have to be screened for specific viruses so you have to be 18 years old and weigh more than 110 pounds so you can make some pretty good money, actually, because it's uh, hospitals pay anywhere from twenty to fifty dollars. Right. Uh, you can make two donations a week. Hmm. Look at that! Denny's I'm gonna have to make a pit it. stop. Yeah. Any idea what they pay for that? Well, it depends on the hospital. Every hospital is a little bit different, but it the the, the article that I had said twenty to fifty dollars. It's not just hospitals either. Like I said, a place that near my house is a just True. a building where they got a sign out in front, you know? Yeah, there are a lot you of uses it. for blood plasma. Sounds very safe. It is. Well, it, it actually is. It isn't that bad. Yeah, otherwise it can't. No, I mean, what, I'm, what I'm saying is, is like, if you think about it, you like at a hospital, you'd feel good. At an urgent care, you'd probably feel good. But All just right. some random building on the corner and you're like, I might I might feel better than at a hospital. Yeah. Okay, that's 20 fair. bucks is 20 bucks. All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. All right. So n- number one, I'm not going to lie. This we almost made it. it. Yeah, we're almost there. Hang on, These everybody. Are, these are things that people actually sell and make money. Am I not saying that enough? Dennis? No, but I like to I like to reinforce it throughout the list as people who tune in and out. He's in control, Dennis. I'm just saying. Our listeners like to have a little update. So number one. Weird things that people sell that actually make money. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. <laughs> it's uh, weird jewelry. So there, there, there's some really creepy jewelry out there. And I, I personally, I like jewelry. I don't have a ton of really nice jewelry. I have some very fantastic pieces that I've gotten throughout the course of my life that I love. Um, and they are all pretty much precious stones and, and such. But um, there, there's some really, really creepy jewelry out there. So on Etsy, hundreds, 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 listen to me, people, hundreds <laughs> of sellers make creepy jewelry out of unconventional material like deer teeth. Yeah, I got what? a story. I got a story for you. So I had a wisdom teeth. I had a wisdom, uh, wisdom tooth pulled. And I asked a dentist for it, and he gave it to me, and I drilled a hole in it and put a silver chain through it and gave it to my wife. Is that creepy? Yes. yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes, it is creepy. <laughs> Clarice. <laughs> Are you still married to this wife? Yes. Wow. Actually, I gave it to her before we got married. She has dedication. <laughs> Wait, she has a lot of dedication. That's <laughs> how you know her. somebody <laughs> loves you. <laughs> I hope there was like a gold cap on it at least or something. No, 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 no. Uh, did it? No, it didn't. No, maybe yeah, she got did. robbed. Maybe but she did. had the option of getting out of it because you gave it to her before you got married. Yeah. Yes, right. Oh. So I, I knew she loved me. Yeah, there you go. It was weird. Yeah, you gave her a dude. <laughs> That's very weird. No, anyway, sorry, um, sorry, Debbie. It's, it's okay. It's all right. It's all I love right. it. So, uh, there. They're on Etsy, so that this is mostly on Etsy. You'll see soap in the shape of mutilated human body parts and dentured inspired earrings and finger rings on the site. How about penis ring? Penis piercing ring? No, it, it doesn't Prince say Albert? anything about that. No. Um, but Did you I, have one? I, I, will, I will finish off this list by <laughs> finishing on this one. Thank you. By saying, now with the advances and capabilities of 3D printing, the array of weird stuff on Etsy just got bigger. Awesome. 
and not authentic either because you know people are going to make duplicates printed. and stuff yeah right 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 so yeah, yeah. violence is consent damn it all <laughs> what <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness <clears throat> that's debbie's uh top 10 list uh yes. stick around when we come back we're going to talk about baby jesus and the easter bunny the dennis george show continues after this <gasps> check out our youtube channel it's a whole new way to watch radio where you can find each episode of our show just search dennis george show like us and subscribe see you there Hey, this is Mitch from The Dennis George Show. If you have a question, comment, new sexual position, things I should do with Dennis's mom, or looking for a date, or even looking for a date with Dennis's mom, send us an email at podcast at dennisgeorgeshow.com. If we read your question or comment on the air, we'll send you a t-shirt. That's podcast at dennisgeorgeshow.com. And now, back to the show. And we're back. Uh, For those of you uh, who are joining us, we should mention that this is Easter week. And are you guys going to the Playboy Mansion? <clears throat> we are. Debbie and I have got bunny ears on. We are Debbie, out show us your swimsuit. Out of me. Yeah, we are. We are ready to roll. Uh, <laughs> by the way, I, to Debbie. I, I will not also, show you my bunny tail. I want to mention also that Jesus is live on stage in Branson, Missouri. I saw a commercial the other Shut day. Shut up! I know, and they said I didn't know he came back for the third time or second I time. Imagine. Or fourth. Super. How many years has it been that he's came back? I don't know. It's the second coming. It's super exciting. I uh, here's a big question. Uh, I really want to ask Mitch this because if you all didn't know this, Mitch is our resident Bible expert. I uh, and so what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Mitch is our resident. He he went to Catholic school, so. This is why yeah, it needs to be reinforced, right? It right would not know. survive on the hard. Fantastic. Um, so I want to know, because I'm curious about this, where does the Easter bunny come from? The Bible has no mention of a myth, myth of a mythical hare or bunny who delivers eggs to children on Je- you know on Jesus Christ's resurrection. So how exactly did the Easter Bunny? I was worried for you there for a section. Yes, yeah, so a session, whatever. How did, how did the <laughs> become so predominant? Um, and so I did look this stuff up, and then we're going to talk a little bit with Mitch about this. But I do want to answer the question. Apparently, the symbol of the rabbit stems from an ancient pagan tradition, believed to have started in the celebration of Easter, the festival of a story, which honored the goddess of fertility in spring. Uh, which honored the god. Yeah, I said so. Uh, supposedly, the goddess, um, the goddess's animal symbol was a rabbit. Uh, that's how they got to the Easter Bunny. And the specifics of uh, in America is that it was first introduced in the 1700s by the German immigrants in Pennsylvania, who reportedly brought over their tradition of an egg-laying Osterhaus or Osterhaus, as the story goes that the rabbit would lay colorful eggs as gift to, gifts to children. And I have a whole lot of questions about that, Mitch. Um, okay. The kid, hang on. The kids would make nests in which the bunnies could leave his eggs and would sometimes even leave out carrots in case they got hungry. So, and in addition, the fabled bunnies delivery even expanded from just eggs to include other treats such as chocolate. So, guess the bunny is pooping out chocolate and, and that's with the eggs, <laughs> and those are going in the basket. I think it would sound so, better if he was laying an egg. Uh. So, but I have, like, first off, I didn't know that bunnies laid eggs. That's the first so, problem. Before I get started, I'm, I'm just going to need this. All right. Smart. All right. He's drinking a, a truly, it looks like. So, well, he chugged it. Bunnies really. don't, bunnies lay, don't eggs. lay eggs. All right. All right. Let's, Let's clear that up. They are oh, mammals. No. All right. Did your mother lay an egg? Well, that's a different thing. We're, We're not, not going, going there, Debbie. Debbie. Well, she right kind of did, but it wasn't an external egg. Anyways, moving on. Mm. All right. So, yeah, there's a, a lot of these Christian holidays fall around pagan holidays. All right. 
Jesus was not born in December, all right, because these shepherds would not be out in their fields with their sheep in the middle of cracking winter. All right. Thank you. All right. And, and then also, I mean, looking for eggs in the yard is so much easier than looking for Jesus in the yard. I mean, what are you going to do? Spread out strawberry jam all over the grass? Come on, kids. It'll keep them busy. You want to traumatize them, too. <laughs> What's the strawberry jam reference? Oh, Denny G. <laughs> Please He's... ring the bell. Right, right. <laughs> Can we apologize to Christians? So I already had him on the list, Mitch. <laughs> so, 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 so baby right, Jesus. Right. So baby Jesus. Baby Jesus. Baby Jesus. Baby Jesus. All right. That's baby Jesus. That's Christmas. He was 33 years old at the time of Easter. That's a little creepy that a 33 year old is hunting for Easter eggs. I'm just He's saying. He's not hunting for He's Easter not. eggs, you moron. <laughs> <laughs> Can we just mark it that this is the point where Debbie has reached the bucket? All right. Yeah, yeah. Debbie has just. Mitch just you, said. No, you, you just pushed Debbie over the edge. I'm impressed. Uh, she she needs right. that ledge. I'm t- <laughs> I didn't say he was 33. Mitch did. I didn't say he was hunting for eggs. Mitch did. No, he did not. Mitchell no. did not say he said there are people out in the yard hunting around for eggs. What about He's strawberry going, jam? I am going to throttle you the next time I am in your presence. I am going to throttle you. Uh, this whole thing's confusing. Says the man wearing the ears <laughs> right. and the Easter face. You have to separate them, Dennis. They're not the same thing. You have yeah, to right. separate pagan them. Pagan ritual and the Christian pagan ritual. Two different things. So would it be confusing then for a church to have an Easter egg hunt? Yes. No. They do it all the time. No, they do it all the time. I mean, they shouldn't, but they do. Sam? They do. Yeah. There's it's a fine. lot of, I'm just saying there's a Here's lot of things messaging going on. A lot on. of Catholic churches do not do Easter egg hunts. Now, the reason you see a lot of Easter egg hunts here in the States is because we're predominantly Protestant. Yeah. And Germany, Germany was the, the hotbed of Protestantism. Protestantism. All right. And you know I'm right when Debbie I'm is right saying I'm right. saying I'm right. All right. Yeah. All right. True. I like, I like this. I am actually the authority. Well, yeah. also hey, you look at too in my abilities. All right, but you you're welcome. The icing on the bunny cake. Yeah, no. Yeah. You have to make sure that you make that separation because the honest to goodness Christian traditional Easter celebration is very different and very separate from the secular. Easter Bunny Easter celebration. They are very separate. Now, while a lot of churches will do Easter egg hunts, that's sort of to um, kind of normalize it and make it a little bit easier for kids to adjust to. Because can I do kids, both? Yeah, Yes, you can do both. I do both. So I can celebrate pinning the guy up on the cross and hunting for his eggs. I want to throttle Whoa. him so much. I didn't know that he had eggs. I literally want to throttle you more than I can put into words right now. Is throttling a good thing or a bad thing? No, bad. Very bad. bad. Okay. Well, no, we, we heard what Dennis's limit was on the meatloaf show. That could be good. Right. right. I wasn't sure what the throttle was. <laughs> His limit was poop. Right. So oh, choking nice. is clearly in the realm. All right. <clears throat> right. Right. Somebody choke you out. Animal crackers. Animal Why am crackers? I not the host anymore? I need Animal to be the crackers. host. Right. I would mute that. Well, thank you all for the great explanation. I appreciate it. Of course, we want to wish everyone out there happy Easter. Uh, celebrate with friends and family, but not to whatever close. your religion is. Yeah, little rabbit foo foo hopping through the forest. Bunny foo foo hopping. Bunny foo foo hopping up the Hooping field, mice and mice are popping them on the head. And down no. came Jesus Christ. No, that is my God. How does God go? He said, No! Little body foo foo, I don't want to see you scooping up the beer. <laughs> 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 oh, 
Uh, all right, you all. Right. Do we have any listener email? Wrong. Let's move on to something else. Do we have any listener email? What do we got? Please. <laughs> Sam, Sam has our apology list, which is we need to add a little rabbit foo foo, I think, on there. Little body foo foo. Foo foo, right. <laughs> Christians. We gotta, yeah, oh yeah. We gotta apologize to Meatloaf because we did that. Uh, <laughs> we have to apologize to Baby Jesus. Uh, we're gonna apologize to the BDSM community because we strangled them to death from the beginning. Uh, Debbie, we gotta apologize to Debbie. I can't remember I've drank too many drinks at this point. Uh, the Plastic Dolls um, from Plasticville. We gotta apologize to them. Margo, um, Sex Dolls again. Because uh, it got brought up many of times. Men, we're going to apologize to men. I think we should take that one back. Yeah, we should, we're taking that one back. Kansas. Dennis, you were so mean to Kansas. Not, not, not the band. Not the band. The band, the band, band is awesome. Truth. Awesome. Uh, women. We got to apologize to women for Diddy Jean's virginity comments. Um, hey. Debbie. We got to apologize to Debbie because, that, because she is a woman. Right. We'll have um, that conversation. Dennis Rodman. We got to apologize to Dennis Rodman. <laughs> Wet nurses, women again, Christians, little bunny foo foo, Easter bunny, eggs, chickens. I mean, we need to play. More we animals. need to apologize to Jesus again, probably. We, no. We're screwed. This was a really we good week. We keep talking. We, we got to keep apologizing. That's all I just needed. This show keeps going. It's so long. We only offended mythical creatures this week. All right. We didn't offend right. China. We didn't offend France. Well, I mean, we did offend women. There was no country. There was no country on the right. list. Yeah. We said countries a few times, but we didn't go down that hole, which was good. Well, China went down that hole. <laughs> we apologize to China. We got to apologize to China. We are so sorry, China. That was Dennis, not us. That was Dennis, not us. I am proud to stand with Dennis on that one. All right, all right. Fine, Mitch and Dennis. I mean, let's be honest. That was a good one. Let's be honest. That was a good one. All right, you all. Have a great Easter. Be safe. Take care. No email? No email this week. We'll do some next week. All right. Next week, I'm sure. Talk to you soon. Love you all. Bye. Join us again Happy next Easter. time for another edition of the Dennis George Show. Thanks for watching.